This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas and what you're seeing in the background is not a joke, it is Watch Dogs. The original Watch Dogs, yes, I picked it back up and started playing because, I don't know, one day I was just looking at a bunch of different material, um, some videos uh, discussing Ubisoft and their games, listening to some podcasts where they discuss their opinions on um, different stuff that Ubisoft showed at E3 or that they have coming soon. You know, all of that, and I was just like, you know what, let me pick up Watch Dogs, because I'm probably part of the minority, whereas, well, I don't think that Watch Dogs was necessarily a masterpiece. I do think that it was definitely disappointing, as Ubisoft did definitely come out the gates and displayed to us a game that <clears throat> kind of got us all hyped, um course that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to build hype that being said they still did kind of put forth an image and an idea that this game was going to be more than what it was what it ended up being was it ended up being your standard open world um action adventure game it was in my opinion equivalent to the first assassin's creed where it had a lot of solid things in it you know, the gameplay was cool, but it, you know, wasn't, I guess, it didn't do anything to make itself stand out that much, or it needed polish, needed work. Um, I think in particular, Watch Dogs stands out um, a lot to people because, again, the promise that was made compared to what we got, kind of, you know, they were too totally um separate things that were kind of far apart um and i'm not even speaking about the visual thing the visual thing that's one thing um but it's just like when you saw that first trailer for Watch Dogs, you got an idea of a game that was larger than what they were presenting same thing could be said about the division you saw this game that had a lot more scope the way they presented it when in reality the scope wasn't that big um gameplay wise it was the you know the hacking stuff wasn't as satisfying as it seemed like it was going to be in that first trailer um certain aspects of the characters weren't as pleasing as you thought they could be um the story wasn't as an int intriguing or engaging um, as that first trailer kind of like painted it like for me in that realm I could say this one of the things that disappointed me the most like dead sack um, that first trailer when he was going after his target then he had to escape and you know putting up the barriers stopping the car, cop car and then he's running across the rooftops and things like that the game didn't play out like that um, it wasn't as exciting and engaging. DeadSec didn't play as big of a role in aiding him. Um, in fact, um, spoilers for anybody who hasn't completed this game. Um, you come to find out that that group that they kind of featured in that first trailer that were helping him um, escape the watchers, you know, watchers. You know, they were the watchers that were watching the watchers. They had no real role at all. Except for you knew they were there. Um, one of your <clears throat> companions happened to work with them. Um, you got a cursory uh, kind of um, <clears throat> backstory to them. But nothing real in depth. They didn't really play a part. Um, they reared their ugly heads back up again um, in the end. But you didn't really get anything out of that interaction to be quite honest. It just it was it was a lost opportunity like for me It would have been a much more compelling story had you had even if you maintained the same story that you had which was pretty much standard fare You know lone wolf <clears throat> hero um, who 
you know, was seeking revenge and also had a family to protect and all of that. Um, inner dead sec who is this other like element, this outside element that's that could have been that group that like came in and out of the shadows and aided him and kind of like been part of the backstory. They weren't at all. Um, they could have added more depth to the story. It could have been like, yo, not only is Aiden Pierce trying to discover the mysteries of his um, plot as far as, you know, revenging his family, saving his sister, what have you, but also having to deal with and discover what's really behind DeadSec. Why are they coming to my aid like they did in the trailer? You know, what's their agenda? You never really got a sense of what their agenda was throughout the game. A lot, two thirds of the game had absolutely nothing to do with them. The little that you got didn't have that much to do with them. So when they came back up, up around the end, what was the point? They played no real significant role other than, oh yeah, by the way, one of your companions, she's cool with them. That's it. That is all. Um, so they missed a lot when it came to storytelling. I, I really think that had that story been told in a more compelling way, it may have saved that game, even though it didn't do anything revolutionary gameplay wise. Um, <clears throat> you know, <sighs> they just dropped the ball. And I think that's one of the reasons why the division struggles because the concept of the division to me was such a great concept. But the execution is horrible. It's, it's, I won't say horrible because it's not a bad game. Again, like um, Watch Dogs, the division is not a bad game. But compared to what you could have got from it, to what they gave us, it feels horrible because <laughs> you just feel like, yo, you, there, you have so much here, so much potential, and you're not taking advantage of of it you're giving like a really mediocre effort around the this fantastic piece of medium that you could use and exploit and develop you know and i think that's why a lot of us are kind of down on ubisoft at least i could say for myself that's why i'm down on, on them because they have a lot of great properties and a lot of great ideas behind them. You see something like For Honor. For Honor could be a magnificent game. I mean, the, having these this alternate um, world where back in these medieval old times, these three cultures cross each other and <clears throat> you can have them fighting while there's a deep, dark, um, secret um, enemy kind of mixing things up in the background that is the real threat that's intriguing but how well is ubisoft going to execute this you know the idea of they coming up with this like you know combat system that could end up being a smarter version of perhaps bushido blade that's appealing but are they going to execute it right are they going to really you know put effort into refining this we don't know. Ghost Recon Wildlands. You know, I know a lot of people are tripping off the visuals. Personally, I'm glad that they decided to be realistic with the visual um, scope of the game. That being said, when you look at the gameplay, it didn't look honestly like they were taking advantage of the Ghost Recon brand, of what it is, of what it was. You know, and that can be said a lot of about a lot of the Tom Clancy. Um, they Tom Clancy games that they now own is that it's like they they they're more Tom Clancy in name and less in spirit. Um, and that's kind of bothersome because there's a lot that I could see like the potential of Ghost Recon Wildlands is to me amazing, but how are Ubisoft going to do it? They what they showed. You know, it's like, okay, that's cool, but you're showing me what I've already seen in Army of Two. Just expand it to a team of four. <laughs> um, 
you can do a lot more than this. Uh, this is where you yourself is failing with a lot of people. They really need to um, push the envelope and perhaps they need to find better writers, better game directors. Um, perhaps they just need to pull the reins back. Perhaps they need to change their design um, philosophy. You know, I've always said this like hodgepodge, um, you know, group production thing that they have where they take all their studios and put them on the um, project, you know, piecemeal doesn't work. Um, I don't know, uh, because you just think about all the games that have been introduced over the last few years. The crew could have been something much, much better. Um, Watch Dogs could have been something much, much better. The Division could have been something much, much better. Um, it's all about execution. And going f forward, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, Watch Dogs 2, which I have to say doesn't look that appealing to me. Um, what else? Uh, just, just about anything, even Steep, while I'm, I, 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 it was one of the games I was most excited about. It also is a game that I'm worried about as well because it has those SSX elements that I like, but I also sadly can see it turning into a, um, crew on on mountaintops and that scares me that scares me so uh, who knows hopefully Ubisoft will do right by these properties um, as they go on um, you know the one solid property they seem to have is South Park and that's mainly because they're not really in control of it um, thankfully the creators of South Park have the most influence on that and they're developing it to be as good as their TV show which you know, you saw the first South Park game that they did with Ubisoft, um, Stick of Truth, ended up being phenomenal. This should be no different. Maybe that's what it will take for Ubisoft. Maybe they need to find outside influences to drive their creativity. Because it seems like what they have in-house seems to be stifling and hurting their properties. And it's no bueno. It's no bueno at all. But anyway, just wanted to talk about that. Um, anyway, as always, you guys feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll haunt you later. This is your boy Black Makers in the Mount. Deuces.